Hello Aquarius. This is your reading for April 2018. I know I'm giving it a little early, but not too much early. I usually do give it out earlier. But uh, I just want to get out before Mercury in retrograde. Uh, remember, these may not resonate with all Aquariuses or um, the cross watchers. They're Aquarius people. Usually I draw people that are need to hear my message. And it's usually those that are hurting or seeking a solution or answers. So this is for Aquarius, April 2018. Aquarius, April 2018. Aquarius, April 2018. These are trying to pop out. Let me see what they are. Abundance, possibly. And again, change. Someone may be dropping the ball on something. I don't want to count them just yet. Aquarius, April 2018. General reading for Aquarius. Hope your March is going good. Find something exciting for Aquarius this time. Hmm? Aquarius says, I had enough excitement in life. Maybe dealing with a fire sign that is a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. A lot of times this is a uh, Aries in most decks and uh, spreads. But a lot of times this turns up as a Leo for me with my own personal spreads. But we shall see. Okay. So I want to get these out. Four cups. Eight of cups. Four of pentacles reversed. Eight of pentacles reversed. <laughs> Seven of cups reversed. A full card reversed. Now I'm doing the, what I call a mini spread because I wanted to try to condense April as much as I can without it going too much further, but I can't guarantee anything. But... I want to clarify some of these cards and find out what's going on. In the first forefront, the subject, you've got the four cups. It's in the upright, but it's like you're not liking anything handed to you. Someone's trying to hand you something, and the eight of cups shows you uh, walking away, or it could be vice versa. You're trying to hand someone else a cup of love, friendship, or whatever, and they may be walking away. Let's find out. Maybe we can get some more information. Four of Cups, why are you there? Why is the Eight of Cups crossing you? For Aquarius, why is it there? Why is it there? Why is the Four of Cups there? You're not working out on a situation. you got the Eight of Pentacles here and you got it here. And they're both reversed. You're not wanting to work with something. Someone's not wanting to work with you. It's like you're just not wanting to work. What's going on in April? I want one more card for that one. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed? Four of Pentacles again, but this time's a reverse. This is someone's holding back, you know, on what they're wanting. They're not wanting to work. They're just kind of holding back to themselves, wanting to walk away, not accepting anyone, any help, not accepting any offers. Someone may, may be a little depressed, too, because when I get the Eight of Cups, someone's kind of down and out. Now, in the past, you got the Seven of Cups. It's in reverse. That means you're not wanting options. You're not wanting choices. Or this could be, like I said, the outside energy coming in, not wanting to any other options, not wanting any choices. And it could be a relationship. Someone doesn't want somebody else, whoever it is. But I'm going to try to find out more. I need a clarifying card for the Seven of Cups reverse in the past. Seven of Cups reverse in the past. Seven of Cups are reverse in the past. Seven of Cups reverse in the past for Aquarius. Page of Cups. No one's one to offer anything. It's like, I don't know. I need another card. Seven of Cups. Why are you reverse? And why is the Page of Cups there with it? Seven of Cups. Why are you there reverse in the past? Hangman, you're waiting on somebody. Or you're waiting on somebody or they're waiting on you. It's like you're just waiting in the past. And I'm thinking maybe other people are, you're a lot like Taurus. Someone's trying to offer you something. You're walking away from any other offer. You're not willing to work with anything. And you're holding back and you're hanging around. What are you hanging around for? Aquarius, what are you hanging around for? 
Now, at the foundation, you got the eight of, uh, eight of Pentacles reverse. You got the Eight of Pentacles over here in reverse. It's the foundation and it's the subject. So, why is the Eight of Pentacles reverse as the foundation? Why is the Eight of Pentacles reverse as the foundation? Uh, if someone's uh when I got the devil and it's in reverse, usually when I, when it by it's by itself is someone possibly trying to get out of feeling chained and and uh stuck or obsessed. But when it's reversed like this and it's attached to an eight of pentacles reversed, I'm thinking someone's stuck chained to a certain situation. They're hanging, they're not wanting anything, they're walking away from anything that's offered. Ugh. I don't know, but your goal is trying to, you're trying to edge your way out a little bit because the goal is you got the four of pentacles again, but it's in reverse. So you may be trying to, uh, get it to where you're not holding back so much, or maybe, you know, other people are trying to get that from you, but it's your goal. Let's find out more about the four of pentacles reverse as the goal for Aquarius. And it could be your outcome. You could get out of this stuck situation. Because sometimes the goal does become the outcome. Four of Pentacles, why are you there reversed? For Aquarius, why are you there? Four of Pentacles, why are you there? Four of Pentacles, why are you there? The sun, you just feeling blah. You just feeling blah. You need to go on vacation or something. Uh, Four of Pentacles, give me another card for the Four of Pentacles. It's over, lover. It's over, love. It's over, lover situation. You're just feeling down. Now, in the near future, and I mean April, you have the full card reverse. It's like you're not wanting to begin anything, just like the other cards are pretty much suggesting all the way through. The full card, why you reversed. I already know pretty much, but why you reversed. Yeah, you're not moving on from troubled waters. You're not taking new steps out in the in the month of April. Wonder what happened. What happened with you, Aquarius? Can you leave it in the comments? You don't have to get personal, but this is kind of like someone just maybe you broke up with somebody, or maybe you love somebody, or maybe this is energies coming towards you that someone loves you and can't move on or doesn't want anything. It's not like it, they're just there. One more card for the full card. I'm going to give you some advice cards. The Fool card. Why are you there? Why are you in reverse along with the uh, Six of Swords? Excuse me, Six of Swords. Fool card with the Six of Swords. Why are you there? Yeah, you're not wanting to battle. It's like all your energy just totally zapped. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you two uh, advice cards for uh, Aquarius. What should they do? If it's in a negative position, it, the universe is telling you to turn that around and that you can. If it's in the upright, it's saying going forward with that. Okay? That's the way I do advice cards. And they seem to work. Give me two cards for Aquarius as to advice for the future. Advice for Aquarius in the future. Advice for Aquarius in the future. Advice for Aquarius in the future in the month of April. In the month of April, 2018 Aquarius. Advice cards, too. Ooh, that was wanting to come out. It's saying uh, go forward slowly. Don't get don't get defensive. Don't get defensive with anybody, and take love slow. Cause you got the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a good card. Okay, it means someone's moving forward, and the Knight it's not real super fast, not super slow either. It's usually a Pentacles that's slow and the Wands that are real fast. But this is a loving card. This is someone coming forward, maybe with an offer. A love offer, a friendship offer, a kindness offer. And when they do, don't get defensive. Now, I'm not saying that you should go back to exes or anything like that. Because this is the five of, uh, excuse me, this is a five of wands. When it's reversed, it's the defensive type, uh, combative type action. Nothing really super physical, but it's almost like competition. And go ahead, turn that around. Fight for what you want in life. Go forward and still have love in your life. Offer it to somebody or let someone offer it to you. Don't get defensive. Don't don't put up your wands and say no. And uh, keep on going with it, you know? I mean, it'll work out for you if you want it to. Because this can go either way. 
If it's upright, you can battle. If this, if it's like this, you don't want to battle at all. Do a con do a middle ground with this and go and and offer someone something, or let them offer you without any uh, how can I say it, negativity attached. Okay, because that's what you're feeling here. Something good coming in if you let it. Okay, Aquarius. Talk to you later.